Hi everybody. We're in the critical reading week this week and I know reading is one of the things that students struggle with the most, especially when they're trying to evaluate sources. So you know from your reading this week that you want to try to read your sources three times. So the first time for an overview, second time try to figure out the main points, and then the third time is when you really dig into it and start annotating and try to figure out how could I potentially use this source. I'm going to have three separate videos. The first one, an overview of the source. The second one, trying to get a little bit deeper understanding of the source, and the third video will get into annotating and talking to the text, taking notes. Our first time reading, step one, is to get an overview, and I'm also going to use this step to answer my W questions to decide if this is something that I want to be using. Now here's an example of something you might do in the workplace. This is something I'm going to be using in the workplace. So the title of this article is chat reference referral strategies making a connection or dropping the ball and the reason i'm interested in this is that the library is re-evaluating its chat services and we have a new chat service that's going to be starting up later in the fall and before we implement that i want to see what kind of research is out there and see if we might change some of the ways of things that we've done in the past and see if our chat reference could be better my first reading through it's an overview and I'm also going to use this to answer my five W questions. So who is my first question, who is responsible? Paula R. Dempsey is listed here as the author and I'm lucky in this publication because there's a little blurb at the bottom, it gives me a little more information about her, where she works, what university, and what she does. I could also take her name and this information and do a Google search for her, see what other information I can find out about her. The publication itself also involved in the WHO. This is coming from College and Research Libraries. That's the name of a journal. And it's connected with Academic Libraries professional organization called the Association for College and Research Libraries, so ACRL. So I know just because I've been in this profession that that um, has some credibility and there's a lot of sway for that organization within my profession. If I didn't know that, again, I might look it up and see what the organization is and who they represent and what their purpose is. So the second thing on the list, purpose, what's the purpose of this article? So. The title gives you a pretty clear in indication, chat reference referral strategies, making connections or dropping the ball. So it sounds like they've evaluated some chat services and, and how you can make connections and how you can potentially drop the ball as well, which are questions that I would like to answer as we embark on our new chat service. When was the article written? The date is listed right up here on the top. July 2019, so it's recent, which is great because I want the most recent information when we're creating our chat service. Where can I verify information? So here we're talking about sources, right? Where did they get their information from? Could I potentially use that, go and find my own information? And I'm lucky because in this source, they've cited their sources. And I know that because I see these little subscript numbers as I'm doing this overview. And I know that those subscript numbers correspond with a list of references. So in this case, these are endnotes. They're at the end of the paper, and she's listed all of her references here. And this is the great thing about academic research. I could use this as a jumping off point. There might be other things in this list that I could potentially use. This one is popping out at me right now staffing, chat reference with undergraduate student assistants at an academic library. So maybe that might be something that we would consider. I might want to look at that article and see uh, what they had to say about it. So use this to your advantage. You could use this as a jumping off point. I used this overview for the, the five W questions, but also um, I, I would want to maybe dig a little bit deeper read the abstract, try to figure out, okay, what is this, this article about and how could I potentially use it? That's your first step, really quick overview of the article. And this is the end of video number one. Video number two is gonna go a little bit deeper into the source, more into the understanding of the source.